Hey everyone, this is Paul, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can link up Zotero with Obsidian so you can basically have nice references here in your notes, which is really cool. So hopefully if you've used Zotero before, you've seen my videos on it, you know why I love using it as a reference manager. And I really, really like using Obsidian to kind of organize my notes in kind of with these links between them, kind of like Wikipedia. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you how to link the two together. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that you have Zotero and you have the Better Bib Tech extension installed. See my video on using Overleaf with Zotero on how to install that. I'm not gonna go through that again, but just make sure you have that because that's pretty important. And we're gonna go over here to Obsidian and we're gonna go under settings and we're gonna go into the community plugins and we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. And now what we need to do is browse for our plugins. Now the ones we're gonna look for, I'm gonna put Zotero. We're gonna want Zotero integration, this one. And then there's another one we're gonna use and this is going to involve Pandoc. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Pandoc and I'm gonna click on this Pandoc reference list. And what this is going to allow me to do is basically have my references here on the side in this special page. So I'm gonna install this as well. Cool, let's go ahead and enable these. We're gonna enable the Pandoc and Zotero integration. We're gonna enable this as well. Now we need to go ahead and look at some of the settings. Let's start with Zotero integration. The database here, we, one of the citation formats, we just need to choose one. So I'm gonna just call this IEEE and the output is going to be, here's really important, we're gonna put Pandoc so that the Pandoc reference list can basically find it. So what I'm also gonna do is select pull bibliography from Zotero under the Pandoc reference list. And for the citation style here, we're gonna choose IEEE. So here we go. My library is synced. We got all of this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let me go ahead and create a new note test. And what I'm gonna do is now we have this command Zotero integration, IEEE. So I'm gonna click that and now my Zotero is gonna show up. So what I'm gonna put is say, let's just do Shannon, Claude Shannon, a mathematical theory of communication. And we're gonna plug this in and sure enough, it's recognizing it. But the main thing that I want it to do is when it does this, is that it shows up here on the right. So one of the things we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this and I need to get the citations page coming up here. So what we're gonna do is look for reference, show reference list. And sure enough, there it is as I start adding more and you can do this with at and your site key, whichever site key you've used in Zotero, you can do that too. So this is for instance, the site key for this one is Murphy ML probabilistic. So basically what I'm gonna do is if I go here and I use at and that name, when I hit the space, it'll also reference that. And the cool thing about this is now I can copy this entire list. And if I have a document, you know, if I wanna just paste the bibliography, I can just do this, bib, and then just paste it like that um, and have it, it's nicely formatted and everything. We have all the links as needed. But of course, once again, this is what allows you to basically very easily, very easily import your references here into Obsidian. So hopefully this is helpful. Those of you who use Obsidian and Zotero together, this is a really nice way of using that Pandoc reference list. We're basically, once again, using Obsidian, using the, the um, Zotero integration to send the output format to Pandoc so that the reference list can get put in here. And notice here, I didn't even install Pandoc. I don't even have Pandoc installed on this computer. I'm just basically using the Pandoc references list to kind of pipe through the, the citation so that it can create this nice little citation list here on the side, which is really convenient for me. So hopefully you found this helpful and let me know if you have any questions.